What does Cora say? Not much. Not much to me, anyway. She still holds you responsible? She's wretchedly unhappy, if that's what you mean. I will not criticise a mother who grieves for her daughter. I think she's grieving for her marriage as well as for Sybil. Robert, people like us are never unhappily married. What do we do if we are? Well, in those moments, a couple is unable to see as much of each other as they would like. You think I should go away? Or Cora could go to New York to see that woman. It can help to gain a little distance. I, I can't seem to think straight about any of it. My dearest boy, there is no test on earth greater than the one you've been put to. I do not speak much of the heart, since it's seldom helpful to do so. But I know well enough the pain when it is broken. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> oh, Mama. You are being tested. And do you know what they say, my darling? Being tested only makes you stronger. I don't think it's working with me. <laughs> well, that's that then. Do you know, when you brought up that basket, I was so proud of you. I felt like crying out. If you were my own daughter, I couldn't be prouder than I am now. Bates, do you know anything about why Braithwaite left? I don't, my lord. They say she had some troubles at home. I hope it's not too much for Anna. Bates. She wants to move back into the house, my lord. She says she needs to if she is to perform her duties properly. Is something wrong between you? Yes. But I don't know what it is. She says it's nothing I've done, but how can I believe that? Must be my fault, because she is incapable of fault. I don't know what to do. There is no such thing as a marriage between two intelligent people that does not sometimes have to negotiate thin ice. I know. You must wait until things become clear, and they will. The damage cannot be irreparable when a man and a woman love each other as much as you do. My goodness, that was strong talk for an Englishman. A lady. I'm sorry to bother you so late, but I think you know why I've come. To apologize. You have nothing to apologize for. I pushed into your room and I spoke impertinently. I suppose you know my grandmother agrees with you. That doesn't surprise me. So does this mean you've decided to return to the land of the living? Because if so, I'm glad. It means that I know that I've spent too long in the land of the dead. We were very fond of Mr. Crawley, you know, my lady. All of us. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> you cry, my lady. You have a good cry. And 
is what's needed now. <laughs> and when you're ready, you can get to work. Because you are strong enough. Yeah. You're strong enough for the task. But am I, Carson? That's the point. Papa doesn't seem to think so. Don't you owe it to Mr. Crawley? To protect his work? To fight for the changes he made? To steer Downton in the right direction? I know I can always count on you for a draft of self-confidence whenever I start to doubt. And you will always find one here. Good night, Carson. Good night, my lady. <laughs>